Hey, happy Tuesday, pumpkins. Not mad, but she looks mad. Pumpkins mad. Are you, what was that? My son's out in the hall wrestling with a laundry basket. I, it had some of my clean clothes in it, but I asked him to take it downstairs because I already, I have some in the dryer that need to go in there. He's supposed to be cleaning up his room. I had the night from hell last night because of some cats in this house. Pumpkin. She's ignoring me. Pumpkin! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Your little face. <laughs> so right now, where are you going? My gym bag back there. I got to get my dirty clothes out of it. Huh? What? Oh, what? What? I'm not giving her a lap, so I'm being awful. Pumpkin. Not right now. Not right now. So, all right. Last night, and I know it wasn't you. I, I know it wasn't you because you never do this. Pumpkin is the quietest cat. Except for when she wants something. Hey! She said, well, you wanted my attention. Now you got it. Let me give her a lap. Okay, you want me to give you a lap? Come on. I'm giving, I'm make, I made a lap. It's me. She has to check my ID. She has to make sure it's me. Come on. Is that not good enough? Oh, my arm's in the way. Okay, there we go. There we go, okay. So, last night, well, first of all, my younger son, they did not have in-person school today because they're doing testing for one of the other grades or something. So it was just one grade had to be there today, and I think they go back tomorrow. Anyway, they were supposed to do online whatever. Oh, here's Evie. Hey, Evie. Ooh. <laughs> I got half my cats in here. Pumpkin, or sorry, Boop and Marty are outside. Will you lay down? No, I guess not. So he was he stayed up late last night and was in there bumping around in his room. I don't know what he was doing. And I was trying to sleep because I said, you know, I gotta get up in the morning and go to work. I need peace and quiet. And I'm a very light sleeper. I didn't used to be, but ever since I've had kids, I have become a light sleeper. So um he woke me up several times, and then it was the cats. The cats were waking up. They knocked some stuff over in the living room in the middle of the night and it made a loud noise. That woke me up. And then they, it, Marty and uh, Boot came up here and were wrestling right outside of my door and body slamming one, or, one another into the door, which sounds like somebody banging on the door. That woke me up. They did that several times. And then when apparently sometime overnight, and we, we haven't solved the mystery of this yet, at some point last night, I had this little Easter gnome from Dollar Tree. It was downstairs on the counter in the kitchen. You smell it. It was on the counter in the kitchen, but this morning when we got up, it was on the bath mat in the bathroom down the hall. Now, we don't know who carried the gnome upstairs and put it in the bathroom or why they put it in there. We don't know. Because I asked both of my kids. They said they don't know anything about it. I surely didn't do it. So it had to be one of the cats just decided for some reason that this gnome needed to be on the bath mat in the bathroom down the hall. I don't know. I'm going to take it back downstairs. This one is going to get uh, cannibalized. It's going to it's going to be sacrificed for Walter, my frog. I'm going to cut his little Easter hat off and give Walter this hat for Easter. <laughs> he has a St. Patrick's Day hat from a St. Patrick's Day gnome right now. Sorry, buddy, you're going to have to sacrifice the top of your head for the for the frog. He has a hat for every holiday, you know. Do you think they'll do what? What do you reckon? Well, we got this is, I guess this is the Easter one. What comes after that? Then, it, I see, after Easter, you kind of run into a dry spell. You don't really have any holidays until Independence Day. There might be one for Independence Day. That's in July. And then you hit another dry spell. August, September. I guess the next holiday would be Halloween. I mean, maybe they'll have some Halloween gnomes. I can get him a little, I'll find him some little witch hat or something. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to poke you with it. Um, but I'm saving the hats so I can recycle them. 
had the Valentine's Day hat up here. I don't know how it ended up in my room, but it, it's up here. Um, so I got, anyway, long story short, I got basically no sleep. I got woken up about every 30 to 45 minutes all night long by those cats and my son. Between the four cats, not you. I know you didn't have anything to do with it. She's probably the one that instigates a lot of it when I'm not looking. Pumpkin, why do you always look so mad? Are you mad? Kitty. So, um, so I woke up this morning. Oh my God, when my alarm went off, I was so mad. Like, I'm going to kill, I'm going to kill somebody. I just, uh, so I thought I wasn't going to make it to my class tonight. And I was going to this body combat class, which I am not super familiar with. And I thought, there's no way in hell. I've had no sleep. I'm going to be so tired. So I thought, well, take your gym bag anyway. See how you feel after work. If you're up for it, go. If not, don't worry about it. And I actually went. I went and I had a great workout. I got, I had my little thing on. I got 7,500 steps in 45 minutes. I thought that was pretty good. It was a, it was in, it was pretty high. It, it's an intense workout. It's pretty high intensity, but it, it's, um, it's challenging, but it was a good, a good workout. So I'm really glad I went. Um, and I feel pretty good, but it's, it's kind of late already. It's a little after nine and I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to go to bed. The video I had up on my other channel was one I made over the weekend and just scheduled it to publish tonight while I was uh, gone. Before, before It published before I got home. Um, and I have a, two actually scheduled for tomorrow night because tomorrow night, Glenda the Good Witch and I are going to watch some more episodes of Better Call Saul. So I won't be making a video tomorrow night. I'm going to make one for Thursday night. I do. I, there will be two tomorrow night, and they're both uh, no talking videos. One of them was one I meant to publish last week, and I forgot all about it until this past weekend. Um, it's the driving video from Greensboro to Ashboro, but with no talking, it's just the road driving sounds. Um, and the other one is me wiping down some of my new library books and there's no talking. I decided not to talk. Initially, I thought I might do a little talking and then I decided not to, so I didn't. Um, it's just, uh, mainly it focuses on the, the crinkly dust jackets on the books. That's the main the main thing in that video is just the sound of the, the dust jackets. So, I am tired. I, I'm tired now. I, 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 I was fine once I got to the class and got going. I was fine. I wasn't tired at all. I'm starting to get tired now because I had dinner. <laughs> dinner. I had grilled cheese. Well, I made grilled cheese tonight because it's just my younger son and me here. And I decided just to uh, do that. And <clears throat> so, we had grilled cheese. <sighs> And, and I ate, and now I have sat down, and I'm starting to get sleepy. <sighs> I got still, and I'm sitting in front of my space heater, so I'm kind of warm, and I'm, I really need to go take a shower, because I'm very sweaty, and I smell, and I definitely don't. I, she tolerates me even when I stink. Come home smelling like sweat. That's the smell of accomplishment, damn it. Yeah, that's what I tell myself. Just don't get near me till after I shower. Um, yes, yeah, one thing I've noticed is I've gotten older. <clears throat> this is probably too much information. But I don't care because all of y'all are going to get older one day and maybe you'll notice it too. And if you do, you go, I remember Mary talking about that. As I've gotten older, my sweat smells different. Different uh, types of sweat for me smell different too. Workout sweat. I don't remember it smelling. It, it's like it stinks more now that I'm older. I don't know if maybe it's my diet. Maybe it's something I've, I'm eating. I don't know. But it seems to be stronger. And nervous sweat is definite. Well, you know, nervous sweat has a different composition to it than like exercise sweat. It is a different composition. It has different stuff in it than sweat when you're just like working out and you get hot and sweaty. It is a different... It's made up of different stuff, different percentages of stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, I, ugh. I smell like a locker room when I get done working out. I just, ugh, I can't stand myself. I'm sitting here now like I really want to go get a shower. So I'm going to go get a shower in a minute because I can't stand myself. 
Um, so I don't, it's just interesting. I, I, know, I know other people have said the same thing that as they get older, their sweat smells different. And I'm 50 now and I'm, you know, past the, I'm sure I'm past the halfway mark of my life expectancy. I don't expect to make it to 100. I mean, you never know, but statistically speaking, looking at my family, that's not going to happen. Although, if I'm like my mom's mom's family, I'll make it to 90. My mom, her, her mom had eight brothers and sisters. There were nine of them. One of them died in the Spanish flu. He was only three, and he died. The other eight lived. All, all eight of them lived to at least 90. Some of them almost made it to, I think a couple of them almost made it to 100, but they didn't quite. I don't think any of them made it to 100. But they all made it to at least 90, every single one of them. And their father lived to be 97. So there's a, and his, his lifestyle, you know, diet and exercise, he was a raging alcoholic for most of his adult life. I don't know, maybe a third of his adult life. He did sober up after a while because my great grandmother kicked him out and told him not to come back until he was sober and stayed that way. And he was gone for like three years. He went and lived with a bootlegger out in the middle of the woods for like three years and he finally sobered up. She let him come back, but they had to walk everywhere because he couldn't get a driver's license ever again. Um, I don't know because he, I forget what happened, but he never drove when he came back. He used to drive but when he came back, he didn't drive anymore. So they had to walk everywhere. My great grandmother never had a driver's license. She never drove a car. My grandmother never did either. My mom's mom, she never had a license. My grandfather drove them everywhere. She never drove. That was actually pretty common back then. My grandmother was born in 1910. So yeah, a lot of women never drove. Now my dad's great, great aunt, the one I'm named after. How did I get off on this? I distract myself, pumpkin. Will you, will you tell me to, you know, rein me in when I do this? awful. Um, <clears throat> my great great aunt, my dad's great aunt, she was his grandmother's sister. Now they had some money. She, okay, their dad had money and it's, we're not quite sure where it came from. There are different theories as to where he got this money. Anyway, they had money when she was growing up and she wanted to learn to drive. So he got her a car and she, I don't know who taught her how to drive. I don't know if he, his, her father did or somebody. Anyway, she drove for a doctor in the town where they lived. She drove, there was a doctor in town during the Spanish flu. She would have been, how old would she have been? She would have been in her mid twenties at that point. She drove for the doctor to go on doctor's, you know, house calls for people who were sick with the Spanish flu. She drove him everywhere because he had a car, but he didn't know how to drive. He couldn't drive. So she drove him everywhere. And I don't think she ever got sick. And I don't think the doctor did either. Come to think of it, I don't, I don't know. But I, my dad told me about that, that she was his driver for at least a couple of years. Um would drive his car and take him wherever he needed to go. Um, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool. She was sort of ahead of her time, and I'm actually very proud to be named after her because she was, she was something. She was really something. Um, she cut all her hair off short when it was not cool for women to do that because she was sick of messing with it. She had very long hair, and she hated it. And She ended up, no, no uh, she had to go to a barber to get it done. Like, nobody would cut her hair, and she finally found a barber that would cut her hair short. And uh, she kept it short from then on. She was born in the 1890s. She was, uh, this was before the flappers with the short hair. This would have been, oh, she was young when she did that, like 20. Um, yeah, anyway, and she was tall. She was like 5'10". And for, she was born in the, what year was she born? I don't remember, but anyway, she was born in the 1890s. But I got to know her. I got to meet her. She died when I was almost six. But I remember her very clearly. I, she was the greatest person. And she would always uh, love going to her house. She had this big house that her dad had built. I think originally it was going to be his place, but she ended up with it. It's a big, beautiful house. And um, had these huge, um, like, giant oak trees in the backyard. 
And um, see, her father came here from Germany, and that was one of the stories about him was that there there was suspicion. I heard that he robbed a bank and hopped on a ship and came to the USA with a bunch of money. Other people said he made his money in the opium trade. Nobody really knows, but he was quite wealthy. Anyway, um, yeah, she would always, whenever we would come visit, she was so great. She had this wooden little uh, thing. It was like a little, um, I don't even know what you would call it. This, it's like a bowl on a pedestal, and it's wooden, and it had a lid that fit on top of it. And she would keep it full of uh, marshmallows and Hershey's Kisses, and only my brother and I could have them. She would hide it, and she, well, this is what she said. She would only bring it out when we came for a visit. And those, I can still taste them to this day. The marshmallows were always a little stale, and I loved it, and they were so good. And being in that wooden bowl made them taste different somehow. And I think that's why I like stale peeps because I love those stale marshmallows and the little Hershey's Kisses. Oh my gosh. She was like our grandma. I mean, my dad's parents both died when I was two. They died just like a month or two apart when I was two. And I don't remember them at all. And my mom's parents were definitely not, I mean, nothing against them, but they were not, the, I know I'm rambling. They were not the warm and fuzzy type to hug you and dote on you. No, no, no. Not at all. Um, I, not once in their entire lives did my grandparents ever say, I love you or give me a hug. or No, they just weren't like that. They No, if you're hungry, there's a, cold bis there's a basket in the kitchen with cold biscuits in it. Go get you a biscuit. And there was nothing to drink but water. Um, you know... Don't mess up a glass. You know, what are you doing? I never asked for anything because I always felt like I was putting them out. Um, I don't know. Anyway, they didn't go out of their way to dote on the grandchildren at all. They just, they, that's just the way they were. I mean, they weren't mean. They were just not the huggy, squishy type. They just weren't. Um, there were no toys. There was nothing to do over there. There was one red ball. I've talked about that before. There was one red, like a ball, you know, like an inflated ball. Slightly smaller than a volleyball. And that was the only toy in the whole house was that ball. And it was like half inflated. You couldn't bounce it. It, it would just thud on the floor. Um, you know, you watched whatever they were watching. And if it was during the day... On a weekday, it was soap operas, and then well, my grandpa would watch game shows, and then in the afternoon, my grandma would watch soap operas. They didn't give a shit what you wanted to watch. Hell, at that point, there wasn't anything on for kids to watch anyway. They certainly didn't have cable or anything like that. They had a they had rabbit ears with aluminum foil on them. I mean, that's you know. Anyway, so my dad's my my great great aunt was just. Aunt Mary was just the best thing. I mean, she was the best thing ever. I mean, she made us feel special, you know. We knew that she was happy to see us. You know, she'd come out and hug us and pick us up. And Oh, she was so wonderful. And I was very sad when she died. She was a very, very special lady. So, I, she was very, she was very honored when they named me after her. She thought that was super cool. Um, so, yeah. And my middle name is actually from um, a lady in my mom's family who was also very tough and very, you know, a really awesome person who went through a lot and survived a lot. And so I'm, I'm and my name is really cool. I'm very happy with it. Um, what was I saying? Shit. Oh, I don't know. I said I was going to go take a shower. As long as I keep my arms down, I can't smell myself. So, so I start moving around and just gesticulating. Ugh. I, I realize i I'm ripe and pungent, and I need a, I need a shower. <laughs> She's <laughs> fucking. Oh, look at Evie. Look at her over there, Evie. Hey, Evie. Evie. <laughs> she got nothing to say to me. So I got a bill in the mail yesterday for three hundred dollars from the dentist. My kids and I go to the same dentist. Now, I have new insurance because of my job, and it is wonderful, but I made a boo-boo 
and I know better because I didn't have dental insurance for the last year and a half before I got this job. Um, so when I got dental insurance, I just assumed that my dentist was in network for the dental insurance. Well, apparently not. So I got a bill in the mail for their cleanings um, that they had done back in the fall. $300 total for the two, which actually isn't bad for, I don't, well, I don't think they had x-rays. I think it was just cleanings and exams. So I got a bill for $300. And so I called the insurance people today. And I don't have that insurance anymore. We actually switched to a different carrier January 1st. So I don't have that insurance anymore. Um, the insurance I have now, our dentist is in their network. I did confirm that. Actually, I confirmed that this afternoon while I was at it. But so I called the insurance company. First of all, I couldn't understand the lady on the phone. She sounded like she was she was shouting at me from the bottom of a well, and I could barely hear her. And it, there was like an echo. And I kept telling her, you know, ma'am, I'm trying to understand you, but you sound like you're in the bottom of a well. And then she, nothing would change. And she'd go, is that better? That is not better. Okay, good. And then she would just carry on. Like, I cannot understand this lady. So we, we had, a, we struggled mightily. So I, I explained the situation. Because first I want to find out why am I, why am I paying this? And, it, you know, the dentist said that, the, the receptionist at the dentist office said that y'all refused to pay this. Oh, well, that is because... What I think she said, because I, I had to get her to repeat it, because I didn't, like, can you say that again? Because I've never heard of that. She said, you were supposed to submit a form to request that this dentist be your primary care dentist. I said, what is a primary care dentist? I've never heard of that. I've heard of primary care physician. I've never heard of a primary care dentist. She said, well, because your dentist is out of network, if you submit the form to request that your dentist be your primary care dentist, something about, long story short, they would reconsider and pay a portion of it or some, some shit. I don't know. I'm going, a primary care dentist. Don't most people just have one damn dentist? I mean, do you go to, do you, do you go to multiple dentists? Is there like a salad bar of dentists and you just pick and choose? As the year goes along, I mean, I imagine most people just go to one. Why do you have to, why do you have to pick a damn primary care dentist? That is the stupidest thing I ever heard of, pumpkin. The stupidest thing I ever heard of. Anyway, long story short, I had to, I'm going to have to send them a check for $300 because they're not going to pay it because I did not file a form to make our dentist our primary care dentist. And if I had done that, they might have paid a portion of it. I said, well, can I do that now? No, ma'am, you had to do it before the appointment. I said, well, how was I supposed to know? Because this is the first I'm hearing of it. Well, it's on our website. Do you honestly think the people who have your insurance read the shit on your website? You think I am so bored, I'm going to sit here and read your website? Holy shit. So I guess I should have checked to see if they were in the network. I just assumed... That's what you get for assuming you have to pay $300 to the dentist. Anyway, I did confirm that with our new insurance, we have a, do, a different, all different medical dental vision, totally different coverage now. It's actually better than what we had before, and it's the same price. So anyway, I did confirm with the, the dental insurance we have now. They, Our dentist is in network, so hopefully this will not be a problem anymore. Hopefully, because actually I have a dentist appointment coming up. I got to get my teeth cleaned again. And they have one coming up too. They're going to have one coming up uh, in a month or two, month and a half. I don't know. Anyway, and if you notice, okay, what is this about? Okay, so you, if, so at work, right? You have you have a dental insurance card, or you have a medical insurance card. Why don't they give you a dental insurance card anymore? And if you want to get it, it's it's hard. So, because this is what I went through, I realized for my new insurance that we started in January, I had a medical card, I have a prescription card, I have a vision card. Where's the dental card? They don't give you one. They mailed me medical, vision, prescription. These came in three different mailings. No dental card. So, um, so basically, here's what you get when you try to get it. Hey, an insurance company, I need my dental card. What for? to show the dentist's office so they have all my 
dental information? Oh, well, we're going to make you jump through hoops and go to 37 different websites and log in to all these obscure things to, to get to a copy of your dental card. Because that's what I went through today. I had to go through hell and back to find, and I had to print it out. And so you print the front, and then you print the back. And so they give you instructions to cut it out. I'm back in kindergarten again. I got to cut along the dotted line and then you smack them together so they're facing out and then you have to tape them. They even show you where to tape them together so you can just craft your own dental card. You cannot get a physical, they will not send you a dental card because it said that in big bold letters, we will not mail you a dental card. What do they have against dental cards? Why do I need a, look, if I need medical card, vision card, prescription card, doesn't it stand to reason, especially since I'm paying for it, that I would also need a uh, dental card, medical, vision, prescription. Got those cards, no problem. I didn't have to ask for them. Dental, what do you need a card for? Uh, oh, you want to oh, you want to show it to the dentist because that would make life easier for everyone? We can't have that. Oh, heavens no, we can't have you, you know, doing things the easy way. So I had to print it out. Like it's craft time for kindergartners. I print it out, cut along the dotted line, put it together, taped it together the way they told me to. And then I screw the tape up. So now there's a bump in the tape because, you know, I had one damn job and I couldn't even do that right. I did all this on my lunch hour, by the way. I just pissed away my entire lunch hour on this crap. So anyway, I'm $300 poorer. And now I have a jacked up, janky looking homemade dental card with tape that is bumpy because I folded it together incorrectly and it got a crease in it and it bothers me. Oh, and the other thing too, when you print it out, it is just big enough that it will not fit in your wallet properly. Yeah, it won't fit in my wallet. I could put it in my wallet, but I can't close it. It has a little snap on it. Won't close because the, the damn dental card is too freaking big. So I had to leave it out. I have stuck it in a drawer in the kitchen. Now, will I still remember it's there? Probably not, but it won't fit in my damn wallet because it's, it's, it's laughably, it's big. There's no reason for it to be big. It's got all this dead space in it where there's nothing in the words and the numbers are really tiny. And there's lots of just empty space on this stupid card. So they made it really big for just no freaking reason at all. Oh, and you can't shrink it down. I mean, I guess I could find a, you know, take an image of it, put it in Microsoft Paint or whatever, and, you know, you know, play with it or whatever. But I didn't have time for that because at this point, my lunch hour was already basically over. I had five minutes left of my lunch hour after all of this was over. Making phone calls, going to websites, and going, jumping through hoops to find the stupid card to start with. It took me 20 minutes just to get to the copy of the dental card. They did not want me to have it. They, they really did not. All the other cards came in the mail. Can't give me that one. No! Anyway, I'm going to go take a shower. And I'm going to put this back downstairs where it belongs. What's the matter? What? I think the ghost is messing with her again. There's a ghost in here. We uh we are convinced of that. Um, Pumpkin here and Marty, mainly Pumpkin and Marty, see they see things in here. The other night it really freaked me out. I was sitting over over there. I got my stool over there. I was sitting on it and Marty was on my lap and he was fine. He I was petting him and he was fine. All of a sudden he just went. And he was looking at something like right above me. He was just trans. There was nothing there. He was transfixed. He was just. He was looking at something like. Okay, you got to get up. I got to move from here. I don't know what you're looking at. Mm -mm. Pumpkin sees ghosts in here. Marty sees ghosts in here. I really think there is a ghost in here. Because it's happened too many times. Then there was the weird incident with the scissors one night when I was making a video. I don't know if I told you about that. There was this one night. Oh, what was it? A month or two ago. I was making a video just like normal. And I had this pair of scissors sitting on the little shelf. You know, I have these little tables. And I had these this pair of scissors. It was, they weren't leaning on anything. They were not up against anything. 
and those scissors like sounded like they fell a little bit off of something. I did not bump the table. I did not touch the scissors. They made a noise and there was no explanation for it. It was very weird. And then my son had an incident with an empty, empty pizza box in the kitchen. This was like a couple of weeks ago. You know those Costco pizzas? They come in those, that giant box because it's such a big freaking pizza. There was an empty pizza box sitting on top of another box in the kitchen. And my son was down there making a sandwich or something. I don't know what he was doing, but I wasn't in there. He told me about it later. He said that box, okay, it was sitting all the way up on another box. It was not leaning off. It was There was nothing on it. No, Nobody messed with it. There was no cat over there, no person. He said that box, literally, I watched it, slowly went, it slid away from the wall and down to the floor. He said, there is no way that just happened. There was not enough of it hanging off for it to do that. It was way up on the box. It was not tipping or anything. So he said that was very, very freaky. I think we have some kind of spirit or something in this house. But honestly, if we do, I'm not worried about it. Because it doesn't, if it's here, it's not, you know, like I'm not scared of it. It hasn't done anything scary or anything, but I swear to you, two of my cats see things, especially, it seems to be especially in here, in my room, there seems to be some sort of activity in here. I don't know. I've never seen anything. The only thing I've experienced was the weird thing with the scissors that night. That's, that's it for me. And the cat's and they'll follow things like they're, and I'm looking like there's nothing there. Cause I, you know, sometimes I would wonder like, is it a gnat? Is it a little bug? And I'm looking like, no, there's nothing. They'll follow things in here. They'll just, uh, Pumpkin and Marty especially, they'll just follow. You can see like they're look, watching something move and they'll just stop what they're doing and they'll just watch. Like they're watching something go across up there. You see, I have a uh, vaulted, whoop, vaulted ceilings that go way up honestly I wish they didn't because it's a bitch to heat this room in the winter because all my heat goes straight up where it's doing me no freaking good I mean they're cool looking but sucks this time of year man it's always kind of chilly in here because all my heat's up there where I'm not but anyway I have talked about every damn thing but I hope your week is going well I feel like there's something else I was going to tell you now, we're going to watch uh, Better Call Saul tomorrow night. We're going to go get something to eat and to bring it here. We're going to go get food to go and bring it here and watch that. So we decided that was better than trying to eat and then get together to watch it. Like, why can't we just get something to eat and bring it here, you know, and watch it while we eat? So that's what we're going to do. So, yay. I'm excited. We were not able to do it last week because I was getting my hair done. I got my hair, you know. So, I couldn't do it last week, and he didn't have any other night last week that he could do it, so, anyway. But, that's all I know. But, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't made a lot of videos. I haven't really had anything to say. It's been kind of boring, kind of dull, just kind of everyday life, but, yeah. But, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I hope your week is going well. Mine's going, mine's pretty good. I've had a good week so far. It's been a good week at work. Nothing crazy going on. The days are going by really fast because I'm super busy. I, I'm doing what I was doing, but I also have additional um, stuff that I'm doing now. So I'm still learning a lot, but it's going better than it, it's going smoother than it was. So, but I'm busier than I was before, but it makes the day go by so fast. So I am not complaining. But thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.